My country people, welcome to Birmingham, the second largest city in England. I beg if you live in Birmingham, let me know in the comment section. Anyways, as you all know, I do a 13 hour shift and sometimes it can be draining because 13 hours out of 24 hours, how many hours do you have to rest? Okay. But I love my job so much. Okay. So we're starting this day or we're starting this vlog by showing you guys a little bit of activities of what I get up to when I'm back from work when in fact how i prepare myself so that the next day i don't have to be in a hurry or forget anything so first thing first when i come back from work i'm one of those people that like to take my shoes off the door because i can't be walking into my house with a dirty pair of shoe okay so i pick my shoe off the door when i pick it up i take it to my shoe rack i know this is not the most organized shoe rack but it is what it is the seven is purpose open up the windows for a bit of fresh air go keep my jacket after a long day depending on how my shift went i may wash my fleece or i may use it for the next day it just depends on how the shift went and what i used it to do then i'll go ahead to empty up my lunch bag that bag everybody seems to like it if you're in birmingham you can buy it around the open market area from one of the asian men that sell bags on the streets or black in fact anybody that sells bag on the street but yeah i got mine from an asian man and he advised me to get that i keep my food warm and babies has been doing the absolute best i go ahead to iron the uniform i'm going to use the next day especially if i'm working the next day it just makes my life more organized and yeah off to london because this is the next day good morning guys it's a brand new day and baby girl is not going to work today i may or may not go to work but i'm going to london for a day trip i'll discuss why i'm going to london in a future vlog okay but now let me go and have my taxi and let's get this bad girl to london loving my feet okay it's giving the uk aesthetics so let's go a short ball and Sasha. Morning. Well, you guys lately i've started using the coach to travel and it's okay it's not as fast as the train sometimes not as convenient as the train but it saves me a lot of money like a lot the difference is clear when it comes to money and i've said if it's not that important or i can work around my time then i'm using the coach and i'm plugging you girls to the coach okay so you can save money but if you're extremely tall you have to pay for extra leg room but for me my height is perfect so anywhere they squeeze me into i'm gonna be comfortable so yeah team coach let me know the coaches you use in traveling and do you enjoy them or and are they affordable for you because trust me sis mine is extremely affordable and when i say affordable i'm talking about four pounds five pounds maybe 11 12 but it is extremely affordable and I need to save money so that I can look good, <laughs> okay? So yeah, let's go to the coach station and, and let's make our treat. Back again to the channel baby boys and baby girls the last time you guys saw me i told you guys i was going to london honey that was a huge huge ass fail failure okay but not to worry about it we're back i just wasted my time because i've been trying to call the people i wanted to go to london to see no one is speaking no one is saying anything bad communication okay it is what it is so but yeah 
it is what it is anyways guys welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing i know i don't start the vlogs looking all creamy and scrumptious and sumptuous and beautiful i know stop it oh my god stop i know stop thank you thank you thank you thank you if you're joining me for the first time i am from Vicky talks and over here we give you lifestyle updates okay anything lifestyle healthcare updates and anything that interests me and i'm sure we interest you so if that's your vibe sit back be last good vibes and inshallah that's all we give over here okay you guys your baby girl has been dealing with a lot i have been dealing with a lot ah <sighs> sometimes i ask myself do i have bad character is it just you but jesus jesus will come to my aid one of these days because it's been from one mass most mass most to another but we're not going to dwell on all that, okay? Because I'm no longer a slave to fear. Woo! I am a child of God. That's my vibe moving forward, okay? Each time I'm trying to feel down, I'm trying to let my worries bother me. Maybe someday, just someday, I'm going to share this thing i'm talking about someday okay but each time it tries to overwhelm me i try to feel sad i just sing this song and i tell myself i'm no longer a slave to fear because i'm a child of god and this is me telling somebody out there if you're going through anything whatever situation you find yourself in whatever it is just sit back listen to this song from tasha Cobbs. it uplifts your spirit in ways you can't even begin to fathom i just kept on playing it constantly and repeatedly and i kept on manifesting and telling myself i'm no longer a slave to fear i'm a child of god just play it and if you know the song let me know how it has helped you because for me that is my go-to song right now okay morning guys oh my god it's 5 30 a.m oh no it's um 5 55 a.m in the morning okay oh, i'm so exhausted but i need to go to the gym okay i want to start my day early i might go to work later today for an extra shift but i'm not too sure i want to go to the gym first and yeah let's go i don't know why i'm doing this myself but i feel so tired i should be in bed sleeping like i've been on the go for quite a while right now like back to back back to back but yeah let's get to the gym first that would help with the day okay see ya thank you have a nice day all right you too bye You guys, the worst happened to me right now. Like, I got out of my house, okay. Stood on the road waiting for the bus. And my tummy started rumbling. I need to do number two. Too much chief. Too much TMI. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm just moving by the grace of God. I had to take a taxi because if I had come back home, I'll miss this class. And I really want to start my day this morning by going to the gym before I do any other thing. So, I'm at the gym now. The worst part is my gym opens by 6.30 and this is 6.29. So, I have one more minute to wait for them to open the gym. Let me not faint. You can see the distress in my face. That is it. Oh my God. Ah. Lucky me, they are open. Oh, they are open. Because I want to die now. First thing first, let's secure a space. The last time I came for this class, it was so full. So let's secure a space. And I like staying by the corner of the instructor so that I can know what they are talking about. So yeah, that's my space. Yeah.
Why, guys, I feel somebody's after my life because why am I so broke, honey? I don't even have anything in my house. I came back from the gym. I'm like, let me make a quick, 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 quick snack, quick, quick, quick food. Only to find out I don't have onion. I don't have anything, literally. Like, I need to visit the African store. I need to visit Costco. I need to visit the grocery store. I need to buy toiletries. There are so many things that I need. And I don't have the money. And I work so hard, but I still don't have money. <sighs> oh, I said two heads are better than one. And this country has really shown me that two heads are better than one. Anyways, let me quickly run to Lidl, which is the closest to me at the moment. And just pick... A quick, quick, quick <laughs> onion and pepper just to make a quick, quick, quick snack because I need to be in bed today. I need to do self-care. Gone to the gym. I need to prepare something to eat and I just want to relax because I'll go back to the gym later in the evening, okay? Today is for me. I'm not giving my time to any work, to any employer. I'm giving my time to myself today. I take it by force, okay? So, yeah, <laughs> let's go out. I'm tired. I'm tired. People you should please send me money. Should I open a GoFundMe? Or do people want to send through my PayPal? Because this adulthood is a scam, honey. It is a scam. Let's go to Lido. Hi. Okay? The weather is good. And that's my little bag. <laughs> that's a little ambassador that I am. Okay. you guys the girl was broke and i went to buy something and a quick quick shopping has turned into two bags turned into these two bags okay but i'm not mad at it because today is my self-care day since i started the whole fit farm journey weight loss thing i barely eat all this ice cream and donuts and the rest of it but it wouldn't hurt to give myself a treat, especially if I'm doing a pump party. Besides, I'm going back to the gym in the evening. So we're going to lose the calories, honey. Okay. And the monthly galley is here and the monthly galley craves sugary things. Okay. So we're going to feed her a bit of sugary things because the girlie has been good this month. She, she, she gave me her usual issues, but she didn't give it as much as she usually gave it. So maybe the medication she prescribed for me. Is working. Let's see. Just one month. I'm just one month in. Let's see. Anyways, guys, let me wait for my boss. I could have walked home, but I need to be home quickly and get my day started. I want before 11, I'm in bed watching a mother fucking mother. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I finished shopping, then I took the bus to go back home. It was such a sunny day and it was beautiful. Got back home and I decided to make yam porridge or yam pottage, whichever one. Okay? And I decided to make mine with beef and it was so delicious. I'm not much of a cook, but when I cook, I cook. Okay? <laughs>
I'm one of those girlies that try to wash up after I am done cooking because I'm clean like that, honey. <laughs> so yeah. After cleaning up, I tend to pack my food in different segments, okay, so that it's easy for me to take to work, it's easy for me to microwave, it's easy for me to eat, because microwaving the whole food at the same time is food poisoning. And of course, I had a meal, I just chilled, watched Bridgetting, and we call it a wrap. Do take care of yourself, my darlings, okay? Yeah.